Welcome, I'm filming the Xiaomi Mi 11 and today I'll show you a couple tweaks and tricks you can do on this phone. So starting off we're gonna begin uh, with the some of the more popular ones. So as an example, uh, the dark mode. Normally you can find it quickly in the settings. I'm just checking if there is also a toggle for it in here somewhere. Um, and yep, there it is. So you can toggle it quickly from just your notification panel by simply tapping on it. I can also go into the settings as you can see right here and set it up yourself by just switching it on or off like so. And on top of that, we do have a scheduled dark mode, which allows you to basically set up a time at which point it will turn on a dark mode, which is uh, probably the best option right here. Because personally, uh, if you look at it during the daytime, especially in like direct sunlight, uh, dark mode will make it a little bit more difficult to see the screen, uh, while light mode will be, uh, I would say, a better option. So. Uh, so that is a reason why you would use it and also during nighttime uh, when it switches to dark mode uh, your irises won't be blasted with pure white light which uh, I would consider a benefit. So yeah, so you can check it right here and it will just change automatically. Now moving on to the next one, it's going to be the uh, display resolution which uh, also will be along with the frame rate. Uh, both of them will be under the display as you can see. Um, so display resolution we have the uh, full HD plus and the uh, quad HD plus basically 1080p and 1440p uh, or or otherwise as people call it uh, 2k or whatever uh, but anyway um, you can kind of see the difference here um, I really like how Xiaomi just gives you a comparison between those two uh, because sometimes to uh, people that don't really know what the resolution is, uh, this is a fairly easy way to show it off, even if it might be really difficult to see it right here on the camera. And you can see that uh, this one, which is a lower resolution, has, when looked closely, it's a little bit more blurry, soft, and uh, not as detailed, for instance, as this image. Now, granted, both of them are zoomed in images, and also, um, for the majority of the people, I'm pretty sure 1080p should be far, uh, a good enough, I would say, resolution. Um, unless you're like some 2020 vision guy uh, or gal, uh, then you can change it to 1440p, but personally, I don't really see a difference between those two. That is just my personal opinion, so I'll keep it at 1080p. But the option is here if you want to have something uh, that looks super sharp. And going back uh, down, we have the uh, refresh rate, which by, I believe by default, it is set to 60. So this is a nice place for you to change it. Um, personally, uh, refresh rate is one of those things that I do see, and it makes a huge difference in my opinion. Um, and again, Xiaomi up to the rescue with giving us a fairly basic animated ball, just so you can see how it will differ. Now I will mention that <laughs> this animation right here is exaggerated beyond belief um, because if you change it to 60 you won't really see much of a difference in normal usage uh, where you will see it as for instance scrolling up and down now on the camera it looks a little bit worse i believe uh, but also when i change it to 120 uh, you won't really see the difference in it uh, the easiest way to see the difference here as when you have the phone in front of you change it to 60 scroll up and down and pay attention how the text moves on the page uh, and then go back here, change it to 120, and go do the same thing. And you will just see this just drastic difference in how smooth it just moves up and down. And this basically works everywhere in the system. So anything you do will now be in far greater smoothness than it was before, making everything look just so much more uh, nice. I, I don't really know how to call it differently, but it adds to the enjoyment of just using the device. That is my personal opinion so check it out if it works for you if you have as much kick out of this as I do um, I will mention that both the resolution plus the refresh rate will uh, differ uh, well, with the battery your battery will be drained qu uh, quicker and the uh, higher you go so for instance with the resolution if you went for the 1440p with 120 uh, your battery life will uh, see a hit so keep that in mind um, so yeah, just putting that out there. Now moving on to the next option, which I actually don't know if there is a quick way to access it. 
Uh, I believe there probably should be some way, but I haven't really looked for it. So I'm just gonna show you where it is normally hidden, which is in special features, I believe. Yep, there it is. So special features has this fingerprint sensor um, heart rate monitor, which is the first time I've seen this. But basically what you do is place your finger on it and it will start looking for your heart rate. Now, I am not exactly sure how accurate this is. It, the first time I tried it, well, I just kind of decided to skedaddle and not skin anything. But yeah, the first time I tried it, it told me that I had 59 BPM or heart rate, which I believe is a little bit 69. That was nice, um, which is a little bit too low. Right now, I think it's too high, 71. Seems a little bit too high for me just sitting and talking here. It's probably not too accurate, but I might be wrong. I don't really have uh, anything more accurate with me. For instance, like uh, uh, some kind of uh, watch that would scan it better. Um, so yeah, but yeah, you can check it out uh, and see if it works correctly or not. I'm just kind of guessing here. Uh, I have no clue. Uh, this might be correct. Just putting that out there. Now moving on to the next option, it's going to be the floating windows. Now this is accessible through your recent, so either press the square if you have it or when you have gestures just pull it and hold it up there and it will bring up the recent. And from here you have floating windows. Now for some reason it gives you op options to open up uh, floating windows from these apps. Uh, let's see if we can just grab that over. Oh, we can actually hold it and uh, it does give us the option to open it up as a floating window. Uh, but what I picked, I believe, just isn't supported. Go figure. So let's try it with something else. Oh, come on, really? So either the amount of apps that are supported by the floating windows is very limited, or... quickly want to check something. So let's open this up, go to recent, hold it. And yep, so it looks like <laughs> the apps that are supported by this are limited. So I'm going to show you another way that it can do it. Um, not necessarily floating windows, but split screen. And again, let's go into recent. And for instance, I'm going to be using YouTube as an example, hold it. And right above the uh, little pop, the window, you do have this two bars, which is split screen. So once you open it up, you can open up another app uh, side by side, basically, or top and bottom. And you could be listening to YouTube while browsing the web if you wanted to. If you go home uh, and YouTube is on top, it will not close it off. So music will continue to play or sound the video. Uh, the moment it will pause is basically as you used to, if you lock your device or if you close the app. But still a nice way for you to um, just multitask. Now, I also wanted to show one last thing, which is the gesture navigation, but honestly, I didn't write it down where it's hidden. And if I remember correctly, Xiaomi does hide it in some uh, not very easy way to find it. So just, uh, I think it was called something like full screen gestures or something like that. So full screen. Nope, not here. Let me try to find it quickly. There we go. So, I don't know if you've seen it. I went through the additional settings, scroll down, and we have full screen display right here. And you do have this option right up here. So simply just select the other one. Uh, unfortunately, uh, searching for gestures, even though it's literally written right here, I will not yield you any results. So uh, I do recommend you to just kind of go the way I did it. Um, it also gives us the pop-up for learning it. 
see if I don't have to. Yep, I don't. So that's nice. Now, if you never use gesture navigations, uh, as you can see, automatically uh, it removes the buttons that we used to have for recent, uh, home and back, and substitute them for something a little bit, in my opinion, more pleasant to use. And the way you use it is if you're in an app and you want to go back uh, one position, so for instance to the uh, general or whatever the settings was before, all you need to do is swipe from a side. So as you can see it will pop up with this arrow, once you let go it will go back. Now this arrow will pop up from both of the sides. Uh, now once you're ready to leave an app, so basically going home uh, as a middle button that was always there, all you need to do is swipe up, like so. And if you want to go into recent instead of having that square, you now just pull up and hold and it will go into recent. Now I'll also mention that uh, if you never used those before, uh, you might struggle with the gestures uh, for a bit. So the thing that I can give you a tip here, uh, just so you have easier time using them and getting used to them. When you're trying to go home, uh, don't swipe, don't try to grab the bar and swipe it up. Uh, basically go off of the screen, like below the screen and swipe up. Uh, so just a nice smooth motion off of the screen onto it and up, uh, which will guarantee you that you always have the gesture correctly. And also uh, the back gesture, I just swipe from the side and that's it. Uh, now, uh, if you have some kind of screen protector like I do, uh, this one is very, uh, well, intrusive for the gesture navigation because it is a tempered glass and it basically catches your finger as you can see. So it's uh, for the back gesture uh, or if you have a tempered glass like this one where it doesn't curve around the edges, uh, probably gesture navigation won't work as well for you just because of the design of the, the tempered glass. Uh, but if you have something curved around like some uh, pre-applied one, then you should have an easier time using it. But anyway, this would conclude all the tweaks and tricks that I wanted to share. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.